Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I would just would like to update you with my three and four weeks of pregnancy. I don't have a whole lot of symptoms. As you guys know, I found out that I was pregnant when I was exactly three weeks pregnant and I turn a new week every Saturdays. So uh, at three weeks of pregnancy, the only symptom I had right before my pregnancy test was a sore breast and I didn't think it was anything because sometimes you have that just a symptom of PMS before your menstrual period so for me that wasn't super uh, like it wasn't obvious at all that I was pregnant just because of that symptom the only other thing I, I did if you watch my video of like telling my husband that I'm pregnant I will suggest the video here if you want to watch it I had a kind of like craving I was like wanting a cold sandwich and uh, we were gonna go to a picnic that day. We didn't have like a cold sandwich uh, made. We had uh, made some macaroni salad and I, uh, I thought it was gonna be sounding good. It, I thought it sounded good to put macaroni salad inside the sandwich. And when I told my husband, he was like, a macaroni salad inside the sandwich? What? So it was pretty weird, <laughs> that never happened to me before, but uh, that was the other symptom I had and that was, uh, I already knew, I already knew that I was pregnant, uh, so that was the very first symptom after I found out I was pregnant and then at this point Sam Daniel didn't know that I was pregnant, but anyways. Um, I have announced my pregnancy to my husband when I was three weeks in, so what in, in one day, so a day after I found out. And uh, that same day, the day that I told my husband was a Sunday. That night of Sunday, I had nausea in the middle of the night. And that has never happened to me. This is my third pregnancy. And usually my nausea, my nausea with the first and second pregnancy was during the morning, uh, sometimes during the afternoon, but uh, never in the middle of the night. So that was new. It kept me from sleeping for some time because it's no fun to have nausea in the middle of the night. Like it's, it's, it sucks. Like you can't really sleep well if you have nausea. So, so I had my pregnancy confirmation uh, test at the clinic. They did a medical grade pregnancy test, which is a little bit more accurate than the home pregnancy tests. And it was confirmed from them that I was pregnant. They did a letter for me. And then uh, they gave me the due date according to the menstrual period. And it was, my due date is May 14, 2022. And we'll confirm that due date once I go to my OB doctor. That, but all my other pregnancies, my first and the second pregnancy was always according to my last, my first, the first day of my last menstrual period. So I'm very sure w when was that date. And so this, that's how I know that that's probably gonna be my due date. So when I turned four weeks, that same Sunday, so exactly a week after. I remember that I had nausea in the middle of the night again. So I've been having nausea um, during those two, four weeks, the three and four weeks, but it's like gradually increasing. I think we'll have, uh, I don't see getting better anytime soon. Like it, it, I see that it's just got to start. My nausea is just getting worse. Uh, and then like two days later, I remember writing down here on Tuesday that I had nausea again. I also felt a little bit moody the day that I had my pregnancy bump shot. Uh, in my last video, you're going to see that I had my very first appointment with one photographer. Actually, I had with two photographers. Was One was inside my house, he came over here. And then the second one was outdoors. I put also the photos on the thumbnail of my last video. Having my house, I found it was a little bit stressful for us because 
uh, the photographer have to come here and he has to set up the whole background He has to set up all the equipment and I was used to go to a photographer that he already had his studio His studio like ready to go whenever I go there Everything was ready and it was just like a five to ten minute appointment maximum when I was done and the other photographer that is doing for the outdoors I'm not sure I want to do outdoors because it's gonna get cold. It's gonna get very difficult to go in the winter i'm not sure i'm gonna be willing to do it so i'm still seeing my options on what photographer i'm gonna get or, but if i don't find anyone i may not have weekly photos like i did for my last, my last pregnancy anyways guys i i think that's it for my three and four week pregnancy update i hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching my videos and this update and if you have any questions comment down below and I hope to see you guys next time bye bye